The last time this men were on the dock was in 2006. These were the pictures from that day. But the road to justice has since been paved with one injunction after another and even the death of one of the suspects. The case was delayed when former finance minister Professor George Saitoti was removed from the case as was former central bank governor Eric Kotut. Eliphaz Ryungu, who was a former deputy governor of the central bank, passed away last year. Today then, only three people were in the dock. Businessman Kamlesh Patni, former Ministry of Finance Permanent Secretary Wilfred Koinange and former Kenya Commercial Bank General Manager Elijah Arab B. On the witness stand was retired banker Stephen Ngede. Ngede, who had been the funds manager at the Kenya Commercial Bank when the scandal took place, revealed to the court how the bank's former general manager Elijah Arab B instructed him to transfer the 5.8 billion shillings to five different banks. The court had that on the 19th of April 1993, Arab B instructed Ngede to credit the account of the National Bank of Kenya with 413 million shillings, Post Bank with 500 million shillings, and Trust National Bank with 400 million shillings. The same exercise was carried out in the 1st of July 1993, with KCB crediting 1.4 billion shillings to Delphi's bank and another 1.4 billion shillings to Exchange Bank Limited. On the 7th of July the same year, KCB debited from its account 561 million shillings, which was credited to Exchange Bank Limited, and a further 600 million shillings debited and credited to Adelphi's bank account. According to Ngede, these vouchers would be delivered to the Central Bank of Kenya at night between 7 and 8 p.m. Interestingly, the deliveries would be made by Arab B himself. Ngede says when he tried to question the move by KCB to credit the banks instead of the Central Bank of Kenya, the former general manager told him those were instructions from the government which could not be questioned. However, in cross-examination, Arab B denied issuing such instructions but instead told the court that the instructions came from their clients going by the name of Goldenberg International. The hearing continues tomorrow. Andrew Ocheng, Citizen Live at 9.